Here we are in a second tutorial of Revit 2012. Um, if you haven't already seen uh, part one, I will put the link in the description. Um, this is a pre-made building from part one as well. Um, and this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add floors, mass floors, and windows, which should not be too hard. Um, if you've watched the first tutorial and um, it'll just be pretty much showing you how to make something as simple as this into something a little bit better um, I remind you though that this is going to be a rough tutorial so um, in fact what you can do will probably be better in your program than in what I'm doing right now so let's get started um, first of all we want to go back to our ground floor um, we'll start off with a floor so just a standard floor no we don't want to save the project just yet um, so I'm gonna draw this one in because I want to have a nice balcony coming off the the edge of one of the walls so I'm now going to rip this across rip that one across parallel and connect it so we're gonna have this small area is gonna be our balcony area um, actually we'll grab one and chuck it on this corner just for just for fun so we'll drag them back so all the lines aren't overlapping and we've got some nice I don't know, stupid flooring right there um, so we're just going to finish off that floor and again we are going to copy it to clipboard and we're going to align to selected levels we're going to click level 1 and we're just going to repeat that for levels 2, 3 and 4 And now we should be able to go to our 3D view and we should see our floors. Um, once we rotate around here we'll have our building which will have our flooring. Our flooring which is then also added on to be the balcony areas. Um, you can add railings very simply by clicking on this icon in a floor plan and from there we can then do our same modify and paste template um, but for now I just want to prove to you that you can do it with basically anything um, so we'll go back to our ground floor we will chuck in a door um, so to our outside uh, there we go just get a few, a couple, a few or a couple, and we will finish with our doors. Select them all. So control, hold down control while you select your doors. Um, copy to clipboard. Paste level one. Again, it is a easy but annoying task as you have to go one by one and our level 4 and now we can go back to our 3D view and again we have our doors on each level um, very very simple um, it is honestly the easiest way to make any building look good in a short amount of time um, you see there how we have how we have you can kind of see the flooring through the walls. Um, that is because when I created the flooring, I created it to go all the way to the boundary, where in normal architectural standards, um, you'd often have, we'll edit this for a second, uh, no, but in actual architectural form, you will have it finishing at the middle of the wall and not to this boundary. 
Um, so this is pretty much a basic tutorial again, just uh, further on explaining the capabilities of the modify and clipboard tool. Uh, very easy to use. Um, if you haven't seen how to get the basic shell of this building, um, again, I will put the link in the description uh, for part one and there will be more tutorials to come. Keep in mind that not all um, tutorials will be based upon the clipboard as once you get the hang of it, it can be very easy to use. Um, so all I can say now is rate, comment, subscribe, and thanks for watching. Uh, see ya.